<laughs> okay, lesson 17.2, page 18. Here we're adding polynomial expressions, and in this page we're going to actually be adding them vertically. Uh, you can go ahead and read that explain section, but as usual, I'm not going to um, explain the explain section just because I feel like you can read it and me explaining it would be redundant. So uh, we'll do enough explaining in uh, the problem questions here, or the questions here. So problem number one. 7x squared plus 3x and x squared plus 6. We're going to combine those, and what we're going to do is we're going to line them up vertically. And so the key to lining these up vertically is you want to put the like terms in each column. So in this case, 7x squared and 3x are here in these first two positions. But the reason why there's a box here is because the second term, x squared plus 6, has a constant of 6, and the first the first set here doesn't have a constant. So instead of, I'm going to, so that's a little distracting, so let's get rid of all this. But um, uh, instead of, let's go blue, uh, this third uh, box not having anything, we're just going to put 0, because it's the same thing. And in this second row here, x squared doesn't have a um, term with just an x in it, so we're going to put 0 there. And then we just add straight down. So 7x squared and 8x gives us 15x squared. 3x plus 0 just gives us 3x. And then 0 plus 6 is just 6. And so this ends up being our simplified expression. Question 2, we're going to do the same here. We're just going to line up the like terms. And in this case, this, this first expression here doesn't have anything with x to the power of 3. So instead, we're going to put 0. And it, here's the rest of them, x to the power 2, x to the power 1, and then just the constant. Um, and then this second expression here, x to the power 3, 2x to the power 2. This one doesn't have a, a regular just um, x to the power of 1, so we're going to put 0 here. And so now everything, since all the like terms are kind of lined up, 0 plus 5x to the power 3 is just 5x to the power 3. 3x squared minus 2x is just going to be x squared, or plus x squared. Negative uh, 2x plus 0 is just negative 2x. And then 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So here is um, the simplified expression here. Okay, question, or sorry, page 19, the next page. So this one doesn't have the nice scaffolding that the previous page had, but let's go ahead and line these up. So the first expression here is 7x to the power of 3 plus 2x plus 4 and this second expression here there is no um, term with <coughs> x to the power of 3 so we're going to put 0 for that plus um, ooh, you know what we got to move this over a little bit there's no uh, in that first one there's no x squared so plus 0 this one does have an x squared, a 5x squared. Uh, however, that second expression does not have <coughs> excuse me, a term with just x. And then we got minus 4. So let's go ahead and add straight down 7x to the power of 3. Nothing happened there, so just rewrite that. 0 plus 5x squared is 5x squared. 2x plus 0 is 2x. 4 minus 4 is 0, so we're not going to write that. So this is our simplified expression. Question number four. Okay, first term, 5x to the power of 4. And then there is no x to the power of 3, so I'm going to put 0 there. Minus 7x squared um, plus 6. And the reason I skipped just the regular x to the power of 1 is because the second expression doesn't have an x to the power of 1 either. So we'll go with that. Uh, and then let's line these up. 9x to the power of 4. Uh, minus 2x to the power of 3 plus 6x squared, and there's no constant, so we're just going to add 0. So now we can just add these straight down. 5 plus 9 is 14x to the power of 4. <coughs> Excuse me. 0 minus 2x to the power of 3 is negative 2x to the power of 3, or minus 2x to the power of 3. <coughs> negative 7x squared plus 6x squared is negative x squared, or minus x squared in this case. 6 plus 0 is 6. So there's my simplified expression there. OK. So uh, explain to, again, I won't go through it, but now they want you to add polynomials using a horizontal format. So instead of 
lining these up vertically, they're kind of showing you how to do it horizontally. So that's so what we're going to do on this page here. So given the horizontal format. So what they do on that previous um, explain section is they just have you kind of draw lines towards the like term. So let's color code this actually, that first one and the second one. So let's add the blues together. 6x squared and 2x squared gives us 8x squared. 3x and 6x, if we add those, that gives us 9x. So there we go. All right. <clears throat> let's do the same thing for the second question on this page. 2, y to the power of 5, and that one lines up. Next, go, we'll go with red. Uh, 6, y to the power of 3 goes with this one. The y to the power of 4 doesn't go with anything, so we're just going to leave that. Uh, and the negative 1, that constant negative 1, doesn't go anywhere either, so <coughs> we're going to leave that alone. So let's do the y to the power of 5 first. 2, y to the power of 5, and y to the power of 5 gives us 3, y to the power of 5. <coughs> and then with the next one, remember uh, the standard form, uh, is going to be plus 8y to the power of 4. And then we're going to add the red sections to negative 6y to the power of 3. And negative 2y to the power of 3 gives us minus 8y to the power of 3. And then the last thing just to throw in there is that constant minus 1. Okay. Um, we'll throw in one more page into this particular video on the next page here. We're going to add a context to this. So, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, solve by adding the polynomials. So a farmer must add the area of the two plots of land to determine the amount of seed to plant. The area of plot A is represented by this expression. The area of plot B is represented by this expression. So, you know what, let's just line these up. We're going to line this up vertically. 3x squared plus 7x, and in fact, they're already kind of lined up pretty nicely. When we do that, we add those coefficients together. We get 8x squared. 7 minus 4 is 3x, and <coughs> negative 5 plus 11 is going to give us 6. So the expression that you get for that polynomial is 8x squared plus 3x plus 6. Last one. <coughs> go ahead and read that. Explain 3B if you want. Um, but we'll go get into question number one here. Rectangular picture frame has these dimensions. Write a polynomial that represents the perimeter of the frame. And, and um, what you really need to know is just what a perimeter is. A perimeter is the length of all the sides um, together. So <coughs> what we know about a rectangle is that if this side is 5x minus 2, this is also 5x minus 2. And if this side is 3x plus 1, this is going to be 3x plus 1. So all we're doing is we're going to add all the sides together. So let's go ahead and write that. So we got um, the two lengths are going to be 5x minus 2 plus 5x minus 2. And then to that, you're going to add the two sides, 3x plus 1 and 3x plus 1. Okay, <clears throat> so there's multiple ways you can do this. You could have written a different kind of expression, but mm, I'm just going to go with this. So let's add, or we're just going to combine like terms. Let's go with blue ones first. So I'm going to combine that, and that, and that, and that. And then after that, I'm going to combine this, and this, and this, and this. So let's add the blue squiggles. 5x plus 5x is 10. Uh, 10 plus 3x is 13 and then add more three more to that you get 16x and then for the red ones negative 2 plus negative 2 plus 1 plus 1 punch that into the calculator uh, you will get negative 2 16x squared minus 2 is the new expression <coughs>